Morning, please refresh page if you game over last minute bug, sorry. Alright, is this like a roguelike? Oh no. Choo choo ching. Unfortunate. Did did I win? I don't I can't tell. Yeah, do I win? It's a shop. Wow. Thank you for my rubbish, rubbish, rubbish rage. Yeah, get in, get in. Yeah, I'm not seeing any controls here. Why, why am I... When I jump, I'm automatically turning left? I'm automatically moving left when I jump, what the fuck? Where is the controller thing? Yeah, now I'm not automatically moving left, I noticed when I put that on screen. I don't know what happened there. Weird. Oh, cool. There's a thing in the middle. Wow. This is an uh, incredibly slow game that doesn't do anything quickly. Yeah? Cool. My money just went straight in the toilet. What happens if I land on the spikes? Great. What was this? Could I get extra numbers? Wow, so generous.
Unfortunate. Yeah, it's doing that thing where I jump when I go left again. And now as soon as I bring it up, it stops doing it. Weird. Right, we got a roll button. Oh? played a game like this before, like the exact same sort of concept. What? What? Oh, right, that's happened. Blocks the spikes, that's cool. Uh -oh. oh, I was meant to hit all of them? That sucks. That's quite the return. Maybe I've played this exact same game before and I just forgot about it. I guess I meant to be clearing things entirely. Is that, is that really worthwhile? What's the point of the coins? Completionism? So the ice blocks are pretty much safe. Oh wait, you can go too fast. You 
cut roll through things. What? Oh my god, spikes come out of those platforms. Nice of it to shoot downwards like that. Oh no. Damn, Shimmy couldn't avoid it the second time. Don't jump a second time. Oof. They want me to go back down. Shit. Wait, whoop. the platform, whatever. There's a lot of situations where I feel like my jumps aren't coming out now. Maybe I'm just being shit. Maybe I'm just being shit. the hell jump I'm doing it too soon so I'm still landing on the things Yeah, you don't just fall down the hole, do you? Come on, 
you bastard. Okay, here's a safe spot. Yay. Damn, the princess is done. Disgusting. Cosmic Ruins! It's doing that fucking thing where I jump left and as soon as I bring this up, it stops. No, it's still doing it, you little prick. Yeah, now it fucking stops. Sus. I didn't know there'd be a fucking star behind the exit. can't see the counters at the bottom of the screen, so this isn't quite perfect screen capture, but whatever. I got hit, I got two bubbles. You get the idea. I guess the idea is that I meant to blow a bubble out down here. Wait, I can fall and drop a bubble? Maybe lower down. Oh, how's it going? I don't ever think all this stuff. How's it going? I'm just going through a bunch of old bookmarks I had, and uh, this is by the guy who went on to make uh, Flint's and a Crimson. A game we all love. Just chilling. Nice, nice. Oh yeah, I came across a game on Steam. And apparently you're, you've like wishlisted it or something, but it doesn't have a demo and it's not out yet. I, I think you must be like in an alpha or something. It was called like Ray Gun something something. And the Steam page has a Discord link on it, but when you click on the Discord link, it opens up browser Discord and then you can't join it. So like, I think the invite's dead.
Did they just cancel it? Oh, today? All right. Yeah, like, is that based on an old, um, like, Game Boy Jam fan game that's called, like, Super Red Ray Gun or something like that? I'm not sure if it's even related to it, because, you know, Ray Gun's not the most unique word. It's just his art style. Uh, uh-oh. I'm, I'm literally... No, I'm not literally stuck. Was it? I didn't have a, a Game Boy emulator at the time, so I downloaded it and I just thought it didn't work. Is this a... Okay, that's what that is. Can I get up here? Get about that Space Pirates and Mercenaries. Sounds familiar. Like some kind of Nintendo game. And this is like an early game, Game Boy Gem version of this game. There was another version called, I think it's called Gum Chew Girl. That's more like a uh, full screen SNES kind of game. Go. There we go. Huh, it's the first time an enemy looking guy's been on screen. Oh? That's new. And they come back. Okay, you can't just simply walk off of it. Oh, that's a simple link. I'll click on that shortly. Ow. Um, that didn't quite work out. Oh, okay, whoops. Enemies don't turn around, it seems. Okay. This guy's gonna shoot some shit, that's fine. This going up? No, it's not. That's fine. Whoops, okay, I guess I just gotta be quick when it goes down. Ah! The fuck? Oh, bollocks. Well, I'm not getting that. One heart. This is the creepiest looking teleport. Yeah, let's let's use an eyeball, guys. Uh uh. Awkward. No? Okay. Ah, right, yeah, you can't contain the projectile. Shit.
How did it go right underneath me? That's a hor- Wow, wow, it comes back. Jesus, go over here. But then is that gonna get stuck? Also, uh No, no, not good. Okay, so it looks like he gets permanently stuck in a bubble if you don't do anything about it. That was close. Shoot, shoot. Cool, get the gun back. Simple, just jump. Yeah. Shit. No, oh, okay. I didn't intend to jump into it. Wow. Wait, you can just jump, jump up this? No? I swear I just jumped up it. Right, so when they start going down, I think he spit it out, and it should be good. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> Do you have any interest in Salt and Sanctuary? It's similar to Vigil. And I think uh, there was like a Chinese or Taiwanese guy who ran Vigil who has held a couple of records in the first game, Salt and Sacrifice. Where was I? Holding down. Apparently one or two people have been pleased with the sequel, but I, I have no idea why, for what reasons. Uh, hello? How? Okay, whoops! What I thought was the bubble gum was just the star floating, so I wasn't actually getting any gum back. Shit. What? What? Where was the jump? Are these, e are these even worthwhile? Jump down? Great position. Uh, not that one. This asshole that keeps giving me chip. Yeah, but that's fine. Um, this is just a dead end. Stage three, the drill. Unlimited gum. Ah, oh, Jesus. Excellent, excellent.
I held left and I fell down the hole. That's... that's great. Dude! I jumped and I'm pretty sure I didn't move any further right, and yet then you just fall off. Yeah, this, this isn't the resolution for this kind of level. I didn't think it would go down when it started going down. They got me, it's fine. We'll get him next time. Get hit by enemy, get hit by spikes. To a degree, yeah. It's all pink, for one. I don't need the heart this time. What's this? The ultimate gum or something? Nice. Well done. You took out the big drill. Next time, don't suck. Wow, you can see that I've cropped this terribly. There's a, uh, it says 52, and there's an exclamation point on the right-hand side of time. So, uh, yeah, great job. It's the same. Okay, go. When it comes to you, it's, this is just a demo, so it's not like going to be a massive game, I guess. No, I didn't make it through Garlic. I, I part of the Kickstarter for that game. And I wasn't that into it. All right, you don't press down to chew your gum in this one. It's Circle, okay. Free bubble, okay. Now we can pick up a couple of moons now. Three moons per level, I guess. Alright, and if you don't have any gum, pressing the shoot gum button will uh, bring it back. I've only got one gum right now anyway. Unlike uh, the Game Boy thing that had two at the same time. Blow up. Not great. Uh, also not great. Yeah, you still sort of... When you jump and spit it at the max height, you, like, still jump on top of it successfully, so that's good. I've seen that gimmick game being ran at a couple of marathons recently. It seems alright. Seems cool. For, at least, you know, for a casual run and all that. Thank you. Can we jump down? No? So I guess we can blow that up. Oh, the bottom looks a little odd. 
Just destroy that and get it out of the way. Grab this. And then do it again, I guess. Bonus stage. Ooh, we gotta do some fancy smashing. Or just spit our gum. Never mind. And then leave. Chew the gum. Why is it go? Grab the thing! Why, why is it? Fuck! Ah! Oh, it's in a bubble, is that why? Did you finish your Everblade casual playthrough? Huh, shit, that didn't work out. Rogue Legacy. The first one? I assume you mean the sequel, since the sequel just got the full release. All right, the bomb doesn't hurt me. Good to know. Ah, you fucking carrot. Two, two. Boosh. Does this blow up vines? No? Okay, but it does that. There's gonna be another wall around here, no? No? Okay. We don't need the explosive. Don't do that. They make some adjustments on uh, Everblade. You know, like, the, the final boss on the first phase? He sends those bubbles circling around you, and then you've just gotta go to the left and go to the right, and you can't do anything? They actually patched it so that he's now... The boss is still vulnerable in the middle of the screen whilst you're moving left and right, so you can throw daggers at him in the meantime. Which is pretty cool. Uh, the final phase of the boss is still not great, but... At least that bit's a bit better. Say GG? Oh, it does say GG. As I slip off. Am I back at the beginning? No, okay, good. Makes seeing all the big coins impossible? Huh, okay. I'm missing full completion on the graveyard level and the underwater level. I think I'm missing two big coins and one health piece. But I don't know if they're bug related, I just like have no idea where they are. I could just ask the devs, I guess. But apart from that, I think I've got done 100%. I found the secret boss in the Nexus, where you've got to, like, extinguish all the purple flames in uh, the proper order. Is the carrot going to do anything? Oh, I have to actually destroy this again. Oh, a little bit of lag there. All stages. Oh, you haven't gotten to the the ultimate Giga stage. What level do you think the the bugger code on? Because I I went back into the Oasis slash Desert level, and I picked up a couple of things that I hadn't gotten before, and then I. The blue, the blue gem on the level entrance still wasn't lit, so I went back and looked around, and I couldn't find anything unique, which according to the devs is the health pickups and the blue coin pickups. But I didn't find any of those, yet when I left the level, the blue gem had activated. 
So I'm not sure if uh, the blue gem in front of the levels is sort of bogged in a way. Oh, it's just two levels? That's fine. Still only one gum? This is actually really good! Uh, right. Uh, throw it, dude. There you go. Need something to run. Have you tried, um, Speed Cat? All three minutes of it. Oh, right, I need the bomb. I don't think it's going to be anything you can find any major bugs in. But, uh, it exists. Yeah, it's just like a straightforward... It's not quite Metroidvania, but it's like, you know, like a 3x6 grid? Or is it 3x8 grid? Of connecting rooms. Iconoclasts, yay! Air swim, boo! Air Swim has to be one of the worst categories I've seen in a speedrun. I know it, like, makes the game shorter, otherwise it wouldn't be used. But man, it makes the game look so slow. Oh? Oh, interesting. Oh, that's the checkpoint. Oh, right, I'm gonna knock the boulder over to get the moon. Oh, shit. That wasn't planned. Fuck. Okay, there's a lot of iframes when you fuck up. I need a bomb. I think. Wait, can I even get a bomb? Can I chew up, like, the bullet bill? Okay, that's how that works. Metronome strats, ugh. get to that? Oh, it gets it for me. Okay. Uh, bullet bill thing over on the right. Oh, shit. Ah! Run in and grab that shit. We gotta blow this guy up. There's a moon up here. Huh, I don't know why they abandoned this concept. This is pretty good. Maybe they just thought we couldn't get a lot of mileage out of it for a full game with the bubble gimmick. Nope, there are more. Cactus Kid. Like, you can shoot it slightly up. Hello? Maybe I meant to shoot his projectiles when they come on down. There you go, yeah. Oh, shit.
Oh, he's shooting them a lot faster now. Is that it? No? Okay, not done. Ba bam. Alright, that was a boss. Um, what? Okay. Wait, how do you jump? Okay, that right, left left click to jump. You can double jump, okay. That's useful to know. Um, hello? No? Okay. Why is there a chest, dude? If you can't open it. Okay, gold. Lovely. 75. What? It doesn't ramp? You could just walk off the screen and die. Oh, watch out. Throw a death on the left. Spikes now. I guess he go left. That's a dead end. Yep, almost died. Uh, are these bats just decoration or? It looks like it's just decoration. So this is a procedural platformer, huh? Yeah, how do you get this if, you, if the screen doesn't ramp? There's just some silver stuck in a dead end. Procedural generation, folks. Oh, shit. okay, cool. You can wall jump, I guess. Yeah, is, is there like a way to... Is, is he press up? Is that it? Okay, it's getting a bit chilly here. The monster's now got snow on their heads. Oh yeah, it's, I've seen this shape for like the third time now. Dead end, yeah, this shape yet again. What, what's that? Slow. Ah, I dropped my money. Don't fall off the edge and die, you fucking idiot. Spend cash. Screen, it's an ability that you buy. Okay. It's nice to have some sort of weapon to kill those annoying slimes. Uh, oh, wow, it's 10k. I can't afford any of this. You have to get 5k or tough shit. This is like when uh, EA were like, we might charge you to reload your weapon in a shooting game. Please don't be a dead end. Okay, good. Oh, I missed a big goal there. Go, go, go. 
Wait, are poles worth more than gold? Poles are like 250, gold is 150. I fucking choked. Damn, I died. Yeah, 5k in a single run. Doesn't seem that bad. But it's like, do I want to bother? It's like, yeah, I can wrap the screen then, but literally what's it going to do? I can get the one silver that's tied in on the right-hand side of the screen. <sighs> it's all right. It's all right. Uh, any key. Was D. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Here we go. This is a platformer. Shit. You become a different king when you die. Hey, that's my name. Time to not die ever. Nah. Battleland Wonderland becomes $5, I'll root and run that game. You wouldn't be the first. Pete Dorr, um, did it for a while after it came out. I'm not sure how well he did it, um, but he did do it and found a couple of skips. Well, not Philip One. Wow, okay, it went up and over the edge. You'd, you'd go off the edge of the little bit too generously. It's like one of those Meat Boy games. Why is it jumping so high? Uh... Oh, okay, we made that one clean. These just get destroyed. Okay. This is one of those games where you simply hold right and tap jump occasionally. Patrick. Uh, I can't remember a King Patrick, but okay. Okay, you can't jump through them and up through them. I thought it'd be like Mario Wall 3. Bros 3. Shit. Well, that, that's actually good, isn't it? Fuck. What do I do here? Right, so you destroy them even if you touch the side of them. But I jumped off this and wall jumped, and then I just sort of whiffed on this one, didn't I? Maybe try and just touch the lower one and then wall jump behind it. Wow. Just touch the lower one, please. Thank you. This is surprisingly awkward. Like, you think you'd want to land just, just here? This is like positioned too close to the wall. Shite. Yeah, I'm really... It's, it's too far away. Like, when you jump off this to the wall, you don't go higher. You're just at the same height, so... This is one of these things that look really simple, but are just... Not... <laughs> They're just not okay. Also, I'm dropping frames suddenly, which doesn't help. Lovely. Oh, well, stream is fine for a while. Um... Huh. I don't want to quit like a geek this soon. Touch the top one to just simply jump on this one and jump up? Uh... I appreciate sure went through it and then just fell through it. Ugh. Yeah, okay. What? Right, what I thought was a wall was the edge of the screen. Okay, easy. Thank you, David.
No, diabolical. Jesus. This should actually be a wall because there's white down here, which implies that it is in fact part of the game and not the edge of the screen. Alexander. Wow, okay, the momentum on these jumps is something. <sighs> Stop! Could this game not? Right, I'm guessing this goes left, and then I jump up. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> eh. Sorry, Philip. I, th I think you've got to get the f lower platform going again first. But then it's already gone. Yeah, you can't fucking make this. Arr! Right, doing it immediately doesn't work. It's timed. It's timed. Okay. So just don't jump on this platform immediately. Take your time. There we go. And it'll go back. Good. Ugh. Oh, Christ. Oh, okay, uh, this looks mildly awkward, so I gotta get ahead of this, I think, and then wait. Nothing's coming through here. I guess I slide down, this wall gets destroyed, I jump off and then jump over to this. so slippy. Right, so I have to come down here. Shit. Touch thing. And I gotta hop over now. Slip off. Okay, this seems simple. Arr! I'm holding left and pressing jump, and nothing's happening. Yeah, there wasn't much I could do there. The spike ball was coming back. Well, you got plenty of time to wait for it due to this platform going very slowly. Stop sliding! I- wow, it like got me stuck under the platform here. <laughs> well, that's not gonna work. John the Fourth. I got stuck again.
If this wasn't the slippiest fuck on earth, this would be so much easier. Hello? I had... Just tap left. Just tap left instead of trying to jump onto the left block. Yeah, it's an educational game. Where are the queens, though? Where's Elizabeth? Yeesh. Yay! Hey! Look who's getting it. Go, Phil. There, there's your new speedrun game. You got like 11 minutes to beat.